Major aid will arrive in Haiti this morning as the U.S. sails its first recovery and rescue ship into port. An estimated 50,000 people are feared dead in the earthquake-ravaged country, and officials fear that number could get even higher without a boost of international aid. Nicole Collier joins us live from the News Center for the very latest on what's going on in Haiti. Nicole? Evan, destroyed ports, roadways, and only one working runway at the airport had all slowed down this process. But the arrival of the USS Carl Vincent will change all that. The U.S. has sent the ship there to provide an offshore staging base where helicopters and other capacity can be used to move relief goods from ship to shore. Now, the ship will bring with it 19 helicopters, three operating rooms, and the ability to produce fresh water. And it couldn't come at a better time. The people of Haiti are growing desperate. One third of the the population is now homeless, forced to live amongst the dead piling up in the streets. And a lack of basic necessities such as food and water has driven some people to violence. Now the first surge of soldiers touched down in Haiti earlier this morning and more help is on the way in the coming hours. But for the people of Haiti, those hours could seem like an eternity. Reporting live from the News Center, Nicole Collier, 6 News.